Look, it's a Twinkie. No, actually it's not. It's a different, it's the same make. It's a silver strike, but it's a different year and different model. But I wish it was mine. Everybody keeps saying, wow, I see you got your Twinkie moved. It looks great. Well, no, it's still in storage being worked on. Back down in the silver streak. Now you can see what the living room really looks like. I still have paint to get out of here. But I have a couple touch-up areas I still have to do. I have the fiberglass insulation for the walls. And before we do that, I have somebody that's been working on the electrical. And um, ran out of supplies. I had to run out and get supplies after he took out the old stuff. And then it got too late in the day to install the new stuff, but that's okay. We'll get it done. And um, thank you to Cedric Ward. I'm hoping, I hope I'm saying your name right. I w had planned on putting Reflectix against these walls before I sealed them back down. And come to find out, Reflectix doesn't work on walls. It'll work on windows, but not on walls unless you put it away from the wall. You cannot put it directly on the wall. Since it's all, this is already full of this uh, fiberglass insulation, I just went ahead and bought another roll. Because I have to stuff some down in here and, you know, and just reseal this whole area, reseal the area behind the stove, kitchen area. So we'll get that done. And today, what I'm planning on doing is Okay, all these have been painted. They're all stuck together. <laughs> Those are the little ceiling magnets for the cabinet doors. I'm going to put those up today and do a little cleaning. I bought some cleaning supplies. You know, some more of these. And I bought these so that I can reach under in these areas and really scrub because I can still smell some residue of a cigarette and I think it's probably because of these areas in here and I uh, need to mop the floor again too. One thing I did notice of course everything moved to the bedroom area I have to move everything so that I can also clean under the um, bed areas <clears throat> One thing I wasn't too happy about came down and saw this. So I have a leak. This hasn't leaked in quite some time. So I have to check the vent that I have behind there and see if that's the culprit. Anyhow, I'm really happy with the way things are turning out. And I wanted to do a quick update for you. So, I'll get this electrical done. I'll get my cleaning done. Oops, tripped over my stuff. I'll get my electrical done, I'll get my cleaning done, and then we'll start on the wall. Then I'll test. I'm hoping to move this before long. Still have to get tires on it. It has still been raining, which makes it difficult to get tires on this, but we'll get there. This is my van. This is um, my Dremel kit, Dremel tools, and my drill. I was hoping to work today. They said the rains are supposed to come in this afternoon so I don't know if I'll get anything done okay in the back of the van I got supplies so corrugated metal <laughs> now you're really wondering aren't you and uh, some bo some bags of stuff over here supplies electrical and such and uh, this is 
I picked this up a while back, but I wanted to save it for the silver streak. It's an air fryer toaster oven. And of course on this side is my tool kit and a new printer, because I like Epson printers. And uh, here is a sanding tool here. And this is actually baseboard. I'm gonna make it easy. I'm not using, I'm just gonna make it easy. So that'll work. So I'm gonna unload and some boards and such to support my wall up better to put the so I can adhere another wall to it. Support the frame for the wall. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm gonna unload this stuff and see what I can do. I did have to go to one of the storage buildings and take some of my stuff out because uh one of my friends is using that storage building to rebuild generators and I did not want the oh, gasoline odors and stuff to permeate into my things. So I brought the table back and it slides right up there on that uh, gold sliding thing. And I brought this little workbench back that I bought a while back. I'm going to go ahead and assemble it today. And of course the supplies I bought, blah, blah, blah. And um, really, I don't want to clutter this up before it's finished. Well, I don't want to clutter it up at all, actually. But, you know, sometimes stuff just uh, has to be put somewhere. So there's my new toilet. It's sitting right there until I can get the bathroom issue resolved. There's no floor. <laughs> Cut away the floor because of rot. Anyhow. And it's the galvanized metal and... Uh, some pads to put it up against. So I get these solar panels. Actually, those could go back to that storage building. And I brought the vent hood back. It had rusted while it was in storage, but that can be cleaned off and restored. And then reinstalled up here. So, or maybe I'll check into some other vent hood options. I don't know. Anyhow, for now, that's the vent hood. So, okay, I'm going to assemble this workbench. I don't think I'll be doing any work today other than that. The wind's starting to kick up. It is, look at that, it keeps closing my door on me. So, and those are pretty funky skies, I swear. It was supposed to be nice this weekend, but, uh, yeah. Weather had a different idea. So anyhow, I'm going to get to work. I'm usually really careful, but I just marred. Ate a chunk out of the corner of the wood here. When I was trying to slide the table back on, I hit it with a leg. <coughs> that post there. Oh well, I'll, I'll touch it up later. And what I got here are these dual coax cable wall plates. I bought one for outside of the RV. There is a single cable plate on the outside of the RV, but I'm going with dual because I have the dish TV and I have my, um, um, my antenna, my parabolic antenna. And uh, for the outside of the RV, I bought this and I drill two holes in it and then take the things off of there and install them in that. For the inside is another one so that I can hook up my router to it and my TV, of course. Some electrical supports, some um, extreme temperature electrical tape, which I thought would be necessary and a more shallow box because what we got was too deep and uh, so that all these wires here can be taped back up again. I wanted to get some glass tape but I couldn't find it. But uh, this is extreme temperature. There goes the winds opening my door again. <sighs> so there we go. And uh, you know screws and stuff for my wood. 
and I have to dig out the old wood that I haven't t taken off yet, the rotted stuff. So I have a few things to do. So I'm going to get busy. Catch y'all later. Live the life you love. Bye-bye.